Hi, for this example, what I'm going to do is I am going to find the difference quotient for a quadratic function. So in order to do that, the difference quotient, remember, is used to help define the derivative in calculus. For right now, I just want to show you how to use the difference quotient. Okay, so f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is the difference quotient, and h cannot equal 0. It can be any other number but 0 um, because it would be undefined at 0. So basically what this is telling us to do is the first thing that we want to do is find f of x plus h. So I'm going to do that in yellow. What this tells us to do is in our original equation, we're going to replace every single x that we have with x plus h. So instead of writing 3x squared, I'm going to write 3x plus h squared minus 2 times x plus h plus 6. So this part right here would give me the f of x plus h. And then I'm going to subtract from it f of x. So I'm going to take this equation here and I'm going to subtract just the original function. So 3x squared minus 2x plus 6. And I'm going to put the whole thing over h. So this thing, whole thing will be divided by h. For this, you do have to be very careful when you are simplifying to make sure that you distribute correctly. Um, your goal at the end is everything that does not have an h should cancel out. Um, so with this, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and simplify each part. So the first thing I want to simplify is this part right here. Okay, so when I simplify that, I would keep the 3 on the outside for now. I'm going to square the first term, which would give me x squared. Remember that this is really x plus h times x plus h, so I have to distribute the x to the h, and I will have two of those, so don't forget the middle term on this one, plus h squared. So that's the first part. The next part, what we are going to do is we are going to take the negative 2 and distribute it into x and h. So I would have negative 2 times x, which gives us negative 2x, and negative 2 times h, which gives us negative 2h. The plus 6 stays the same. And then I have to go through and distribute the negative to everything behind it. So I would distribute the negative in. So a negative times a positive 3 would give me negative 3x squared. A negative times a negative would give me a positive 2x. And a negative times a 6 would give me negative 6. All of this is over h. I still have to distribute this 3 into here. But I'm going to go ahead and eliminate anything that I can just so that I don't have to write it again. So my negative 2x and my positive 2x cancel out. And my positive 6 and my negative 6 cancel out. So just so that I don't have to rewrite that, I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 3 in and be very careful to make sure that you distribute the 3 to everything. So I would have 3 times x squared, which is 3x squared. 3 times 2xh, which is 6xh. And 3 times h squared would give me 3h squared. Okay, um, and then what I have left on the outside is the negative 2h and the negative 3x squared. So these were on the outside of the parentheses, so I do not distribute the h to those. Okay, I now have to simplify again. The only thing that cancels out now is my 3x squared. Um, and if you notice, everything else is left with an h in it, okay? Um, with the difference quotient, if you did everything, if you did all of your math correctly, you should get to where you have an h in everything because we want to get the denominator to cancel out. So I would have 3h squared minus 2h over h. Okay. And you could go through and cancel all of the H's out, or what you can do also is because all of these have an H in common, I'm going to undistribute the H. So I'm going to take an H out, so I would be left with 6H plus 3H minus 2 all over H. 
and these would cancel out. So the final answer for this one would be 6x plus 3h minus 2. And if you continue on into calculus, like I said, I use this for my college algebra class, um, but if you continue on into calculus, you will touch on this um, quite a bit at the beginning of a calculus course because it does help you to define derivatives. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.